Hello and thank you for watching this video. First of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Atan. I'm a student of University of Malaysia Police or UNIMAP. In this video clip, I will explain regarding my final year project. The project I built is a copper cable energy test device for the telephone line. Why this project important? Please see here. This is one of the reports I taken from the newspaper. The report stated that in the year 2011, TM loses about 42 million ringgit due to copper cable delivery. I'm hoping by researching in this project, the project will be able to reduce the copper cable delivery in the future. Before I show how the device operates, let me explain on the main theory and component to make the device work. Our home telephone is powered by 50 volts or wattage. When the telephone line being cut, the device will be activated and ESC or capacitance effect is created by the twisted pair cable. The longer the cable, the capacitance value will be higher. By combining the capacitance value with the 555 timer, a constant frequency will be generated. To calculate the length of the cable being cut, here are some simple equation. One box has 10 apple, then two box is equal to 20 apple. By rearrange the equation, the length of the cable are found. Last, the Altair DE2 box is used as processor and main controlling purpose. Now, let me show you how the device operates. This is the house model for my project. When someone cut the telephone cable, the frequency generator will be active to detect the telephone cable length from point A to point B. And the Altair DE2 bot will process the data and send a message to a person in charge mobile phone through a GSM device. Our home telephone is powered by 50 volt. When someone cut the cable, the voltage will be zero and the device will be active. But in this stage, I replace the automatic function with a manual switch. As you can see, the 7 segment display the frequency value and the LCD display the area and the distance of the copper cable being cut. Now, the warning message is received by the mobile phone. Actually, the Altera DE2 track helped me a lot. Due to the accuracy and the reliability of the track, I don't need to worry about the hardware issue and just concentrate on research in my project. Plus, the Altera track got its own programming software or namely Quartus. I highly recommend the student to use the Altera track for their project because the Altera DE2 also able to perform the function of image processing and sound processing. That's all and thank you for watching.